Hi, I'm Paul. So today we're in Hotwood Woods with the Wonky P and I'm on the Carrera Kraken. So this is newly converted from the Crystal C1. It was a step through city bike and I've converted it into this e-mountain bike. So a video will pop up now. The first ride I went on it was in a Hotwood. So I thought I'd come again. I'm gonna do a voiceover in this video because I want to talk about a few things. Okay, let's do it. So full power, pedaling. Right, so this week on Friday, four years ago, is when my mum sadly passed away. So before my mum died, she actually got me into e-bikes. I've got asthma and my mum encouraged me to get an e-bike because I want riding my mountain bike. And my mum got me into e-bikes and then died about eight months later. So the place that I'm visiting now is called Lord's Wood and it's in Hotwood. And I used to go walking here about 15 years ago with my mum and the dogs and yeah I used to run round there and my mum would walk anyway we'd walk the dogs I used to sometimes go with my mum and my brother so I'm visiting Lord's Wood so you come through the bottom bit of Hotwood and you cross a college road which I'm crossing now and you go up this country lane and then you turn right and you go down into Lord's Wood so we used to park up at the top of this lane in the Bolingo with all the dogs. We used to take about six dogs and yeah, and you cut through this gate here where the horses are. Right, we're just going into Lord's Wood. Check these out. The coats on for flies. You hot guys. Right, we're going that way. The fence to the right is fields and it's Hotwood Hall College fields but it never used to have a fence round and you used to be able to walk around all them fields but yeah it's football pitches now and here you turn left to the gate to Lord's Wood so just get through the gate and continue the journey. I've got a funny memory about walking down this path. I was with my mum, my brother, and he had his daughter with him, my niece, and there was me and the dogs, and we parked up at the car park where I said, and we walked just this bit up here, and my niece was a toddler, and she was walking along screaming her head off, and she cried all the way around the walk because she wanted to be carried and my brother just wore, carried on and ignored her and just carried on chatting to my mum <laughs> always stuck in my head, I always remember it when I walked down here but yeah, a tree up here on the left used to have a woodpecker in it so you're coming along and these benches here are what used to be a bench I think they've took the back off it so you come down there and you go to the lake at Lord's Wood. If you go straight on, there's a pit and it's an ice house. And yeah, it's a big pit, bricked. And yeah, I should have gone up there and shown it, but can show it another time. Right, we're at the lake in Lord's Wood. So when we used to come here, some of the dogs used to actually swim in this lake. Um, one called Brent and he used to love it, he'd just dive in every time we come. And yeah, really used to love swimming in there. Great reminiscing over these memories. I was on a downer when my mum died and then Orion died and it left me with PTSD. But yeah, that was like four years ago, I'm feeling better. Anyway let's get moving on so i just realized at this point that the drailia ain't working i'm stuck in my hardest gear so yeah i know it's got electric but it's still a bit of effort and yeah i need to get home and sort the drailia out so on the friday my mum died but then on the Saturday, the day after, is when I started my YouTube and my YouTube channel will actually be 
eight years old and yeah so i've been making a video to celebrate that so everyone who's subscribed over those eight years big massive thank you i really appreciate it and yeah i've enjoyed this youtube journey and i hope you've enjoyed coming along with me and joining me on rides builds dog walks all the videos that i've done bilingo micro campers scooters yeah anyway you come to this bridge here yeah, and at the side on my right used to be an old bridge i've not been across this one i didn't know this one was there the old ones all fell into the little stream so you cut over this bridge and you can either go to the left and it brings you back down to the lake or you can go up these steps here so i go up the steps and then there's another gate and it leads to a hill now i was gonna go up the hill on the e-bike but with it being stuck in the hardest gear i decided not to and i'll sort the trailer out and come back but me and my mum used to walk up this hill and my mum was like just starting getting ill with her lungs and she used to make it to the top yeah i was really proud of her each time she did it because it's some effort and i ain't got the balls to walk up it now and push her bike in case i have asthma attack which is a bit of a wimp out but yeah anyway so just sat here and chilled listening to the birds and suddenly the wind starts picking up where we want much of the wind and yeah it was really nice right so here's the sty to the hill and you can see the path going up there but i will come back and i will do this i'm not having it put me off um i want to actually ride up there and there's a bench at the top like i said me and my mum used to sit there all the time we'd sit there for an hour some days we had a dog called jade and she used to go looking around all the rabbit holes and yeah I've got some great memories of dogs, um, a lot of dogs that we've walked in here and a lot of dogs of my own um, and my mum and dad's and my brothers, both my brothers so yeah, anyway a chicken out down these steps, they look too steep um, I don't feel that confident going down steps, I've not done mountain biking much this year really so uh, yeah I need to polish up my skills and yeah I've never really practiced steps so come along and the lake's at the left so as you come along this path you can either go left and it takes you back the way you come or you can either go to the right now I turn to the right and you go up this bit of an incline a little hill here and as you come along on the left there's woods at the bottom I think they've cleared some of them it used to be really thick but we wild camp down there when we were teenagers and we had a dog with us and the dog started barking at something in the middle of the night and we all it um yeah so memories of that me and my mates must have been about 15 years old anyway you ride down this path and it brings you back near the gate now so that's a trip round lord's wood and reminiscing about loads of memories and yeah so I hope you've enjoyed this, um, especially doing a talk over because I normally don't do talk overs, I vlog on the ride. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, we continue the ride now and get through the gates quickly. I always found it a bit strange that my mum died on the 15th and my YouTube channel was started four years earlier on the 16th um, strange dates but yeah um, don't think much of it and yeah just weird 
Right, so I'll come on now and I go through this gate. You can turn to the left and it takes you back down the country lane. Or you can go to the right, further up into Hotwood. And you can get to Deadwood and the Hotwood Madman. That's a Strava segment. But yeah, give it a good bomb down this lane. I'm heading home um, back to Puppy. So, my mum and dad always loved dogs and... Um, they give me the passion and the love of dogs really I've had a dog from 18 years old and yeah I've always enjoyed walking and um, when I was 17 and a half stone and I got a Ryan I lost four stone by dog walking so yeah yeah I used to be really overweight and yeah um, I've put a bit of weight on lately but yeah I'm up in the dog walking again um, really enjoy it with Flo so on the 16th to celebrate my youtube channel's eighth birthday i'm going to do a dog walking video because this channel started off as dog walks that was all it was just dog walks and my mum had got ill so i started a youtube channel i'd had channels before but i started this one okay. to show my mum dog walks so this channel it has a lot to do with the memories of my mum um, and yeah that's why I started it and then that's why I started e-bikes um, because of my mum so yeah some great memories to look back on um, I'm not depressed anymore I'm not on a downer I'm looking at life in a positive way and like my mum said to me get out and live life and that's exactly <coughs> what I'm doing so if you do have depression and you feel down all i suggest is speak to someone about it it does help speaking to someone um i found getting out and exercising helped a load um i found it a really struggle to actually get out and exercise but when i did it helped and yeah um four years later i'm in a miles better place i'm doing good and yeah I'm gonna plan to make loads of more YouTube videos for going into the eighth year. So we're back at the beginning now at the sign and is Carrera Kraken. So yeah, it turned out a really good conversion, this really happy with it. So that's the end of the video. So I'm gonna go back to vlog mode and this is the end of the voiceover. Right, thanks for watching me Paul, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for future future updates and if you're already subscribed, massive thanks for watching and yeah, thanks and catch me up again on another ride, I don't know when but I'll try and get one as soon as possible, like I said. Here she is, little hot dog, find the gloves, come on, hey, hey. She's got bloody two. Don't you put that bomb near me. I'll smack it.